Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Good afternoon, this is Hannah with your afternoon announcements. Do you enjoy taking action pictures or editing and designing pages? Maybe you enjoy interviewing people and writing stories. If these activities sound interesting to you, fill out an application form to be evaluated to join your book class. Forms can be found in the counseling office or Ms. Regard's room when 12 and are due Friday to Ms. Regard. For those interested in JAG, when registering for classes, look for miscellaneous and then get a slot in the Jobs for America graduates next year. Prepare for a year of fun and college and career readiness. Attention, students who had civics with Mr. Kinzinius or Ms. Smits during semester one. You can pick up your transcript showing your updated civics test requirements from Ms. Coleman at the reception desk. Will you, will you be a sophomore next year or a junior? Consider signing up for leadership class. Leadership provides opportunities for you to step out of your comfort zone and reflect on what you can do and to impact others. A few of the hands-on activities include bowling with Ms. Hartley's students team, jump rope and blindfold walks, and games in a loft. To register, choose leadership under the miscellaneous category in, in infinity. See Ms. King in room 126 for more information. NHS will have its monthly meeting Wednesday at Senior Juilliard's room at 7.30 a.m. If you're heading to Black River to cheer on boys hockey tonight or Sparta to cheer on boys basketball, dress in your best tie-dye. This will not get you in free admission, but it will sure make the Timberwolf fans stand out in the bleachers. Need something to do tomorrow night? Come cheer on the boys basketballs as they take on JET, JV, and VR at 5.45, varsity 7.15, dress theme is pink out. Love the excitement of Natal Truck, Tractor Pool, or the Monroe County Fair? Get paid to get the meet in the all. Check out the special announcements on bulletin board by the office or see Ms. Coleman the, at the reception desk for more information. Four score and seven years ago, today we honor our 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln was born February 12, 1809 in Hardin County, Kentucky, and assassinated in 1865 by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater. He was 6'4", at the, fir the first bearded president and did not have a middle name. He was married to Mary Todd, who ironically was a daughter of a slave owner. In 1849, he received a patent to flotation device for boats at shallow water. He became a president in 1861 and 1863. Lincoln dedicated Thursday, November as Thanksgiving Day. He also was known for his Gettysburg Gazette dress, which called for equal rights and liberty for all men, and he worked tirelessly to abolish slavery. This has been Hannah with your afternoon announcements. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Good morrow, fellow adventurers! <laughs> Your journey begins Wednesdays after school in room 214, Master Briggs' room. 